this world, the role of the feminine principle? I would say, I don't say that women as women who are born as women only have the role, even the men have, everyone has, because everyone has Kundalini within them. But the women must know that if they are women, they have a greater responsibility. Not that they should sit at home and only look after children and brood and then nag the husbands when they come home. <laughs> That's not their role. The role is such that they have to be forbearing. Any person who is the mother has to be like the Mother Earth. How much she's forbearing, how much she suffers. We, we dig her up, out, we torture her life, still she's giving all the time, she's soothing, forgiving, bearing it out. We are doing so many sinful things, I mean, she should explode, really, tiger, the way it is. But she does not. She's very careful, she slowly, slowly informs that, now get out of this place, it's rumbling. She's so kind, you see, that all should come to us. So it's not that it is only the women who should settle down with these qualities, but the time has come that men have to have these qualities, otherwise there will be always an imbalance. The women have no self-esteem, they fight on wrong things. They don't fight on the right things. The right is that you should be respected and you should not be treated like something on the show that any man can look at you and, any, uh, uh, and that the men should look at you, then you have some value. It's nonsense. This is not the way to make great nations and great children and great families. So the society of any country depends on the women, which is a very solid work, which is underground, they don't want to show off. Any country which has got good women make good societies. So in Sahaja Yoga we respect the women. We allow them their own freedom, we trust them and we treat them equal. They have to be equal. They may not be similar, but they are equal. The, both the wheels have to be equal, otherwise wheel, one is smaller, one is bigger, then the chariot will never move forward, it will go round and round and round. So that is to be understood. That's very much uh, important nowadays in the West because I find slowly the derailment is towards hell. All these thoughts are going to take people to nowhere because nobody takes the responsibility of molding, a moral, a creating moral values for children. You have to give proper breeding. You don't know the role of a woman is so important, so very important, that she can change the whole family into a beautiful garden. It is her own sweetness, her own creative mind of love that can work it out. You must find out the art of love and work it out on anybody who is disturbed or who is unhappy or who is crossed. You can do it. You should know how to pacify that person and how to impress. First quality you must have is the generosity of character. You should not mind giving up everything, anything to anyone if they want. You will enjoy your generosity now and in that you should be generous when you forgive others. Forgiveness is very important and then you will never feel the brunt of your married life. Forgive. Also you have to forgive yourself not to feel guilty, not to feel guilty at all about anything. You should not be a source of some sort of a dominating personality or a person who is aggressive, not at all. On the contrary, you are the one who can bear lots of things and make a fun out of every nonsense that you see. Nothing is so serious to fight it but to make a fun out of all that and make a fun for everyone. That's what you have to be always smiling and happy. Style and culture is different, what I'm saying. The thing is that woman is regarded, I mean, not nowadays, of course, because it's different, 
But most of the women in the villages are regarded as Sakshat, Lakshmi means uh, mother, goddess of wealth. So she is to be respected. All the people with respect, you see, nobody dare insult her. That was our society and is still in the village society. And the women feel very proud that they are housewives. They are proud because we are housewives. We have our children, we can look after our children, we can cook, we can... They are great cooks also. So, you see, what happens that they know that their area is their household, but they don't feel suffocated, they don't feel they are lower down. In Sanskrit there is a saying, Tatra Narya Pujyante Tatra Ramante Devat. Meaning, where the women are respected, are worshipped, and they are worshipful, not that they are to be worshipped, but they are respected. There only exist the kingdom of God. So, so much responsibility is on women. Now the men are responsible for the politics and the economics and also the nation as administrators. But women are responsible for the society. Whether she's in the house or she's outside, whether she's working in the house or outside, she's responsible for the maintenance of the system. And there it looks sometimes to a woman that she's dominated, that her husband dominates her, that the husband's family dominates her. But it's the quality of a woman that brings up the level of the society, not only the level, but also in the family, she is then respected. It's a very important role as a housewife. Perhaps we never realize it. Now we see so many lights here, the electricity is there running. But what is the source of this electricity? Is it not much more important than these lights? So men are nothing but we can say the kinetic energy. But what is the potential is the woman of the house. So it is for us at this moment to understand the value of this great power that is given to us by our faith. But what do we find, whether in the East or the West, women have not been able to give a full manifestation of their greatness. I am not suggesting at all that the only role of women in human society is that of the mother, the procreator and the preserver of children, or that of a wife or a sister. Women have a full right to participate as equal partners partners in every aspect of life, social, cultural, educational, political, economical, administrative, and the rest. In order to prepare themselves for this all-pervading role, they must have the right to education in all branches of life. But if they are mothers, they have a great responsibility towards their children as well as their society. Men are responsible for politics and economics of the country, but women are responsible for the society. Women can also support men. <coughs> they can make leading part, of course, in any position. But it is very important that they should not forget they are women who have to manifest deep motherly concern and love if they become manly and aggressive. The balance of the society cannot be made. At the same time, I must admit that while we ask for the rights of women, we must also stress the fundamental duties of women to the human society. If the women in the West are those who are educated in the West, also some others are educated. I have gone to the other extreme, have gone to the other extreme when they are taking to political, economical or administrative role. To com compete with men, they have become much too selfish, self-centered and ambitious. They have no more their soothing, pleasing qualities which can bring peace and balance. So, as you have got your kundalini, you must develop that sweetness within you. In such a manner that people see you and think that you are great mothers. But 
as you know in the west the mothers are so horrible the women are so dominating that people do not have a proper image of a mother also the mother, women are extremely dominating women must learn to dominate is so easy a bull can dominate anybody but can they be like mother earth which can bear up all kinds of troubles all kinds of problems can we do that way especially that's why I request women of this country to develop those beautiful qualities and not of domination domination it doesn't behove a woman it doesn't look nice on her it's like a bull she's wearing as a diamond piece around her neck it's not beautifying so we must give up that idea of dominating or trying to oppress the husband he says something we say no to children we say no to everyone we try to dominate that's not our character even i think roosevelt once said that of course he must have said he must have met real indian women that an indian woman she is like a magnolia in an indian forest of course here the magnolias are useless but in indian indian forest even one flower in the forest it is hidden you can't see it but you can smell it the whole forest is fragrant you can't see it anywhere it's hidden in one flower you can know this magnolia and this is the greatest quality because love is the most attractive thing in this world why do you hang around me <laughs> just ask yourself because i have vibrations my photograph has got no you feel that you are loved that i love you it's a very great quality but i have that innate within me i don't have to have it from anywhere and you to have it just expose it and manifest it may god bless you thank you